eight years old. Today we're going to talk about the respiratory system. The respiratory system consists of four main parts. These are known as the nose, the trachea or windpipe, the lungs and a big muscle known as the diaphragm. <coughs> Sorry, that's because I've got, you know, tonsillitis. It's a special disease, but I don't want to go about that. So, let's talk about the meaning of breathing. The air has something known as oxygen, and oxygen is necessary for us to live. Also, when the cells use up oxygen and energy, they produce a waste product known as carbon dioxide. The respiratory system has to exhale this out as soon as possible because this is very poisonous. Now, let's talk about how we breathe. We breathe so we can have a good time and oxygen is with us. The re this is the whole reason we breathe. The reason how we breathe is this. Listen carefully, please. Now, what happens is, when you breathe in, what happens is, the, all the air and what's in the air goes into the nose and down the tracker. Before I talk any further, there are special nose hairs which can trap germs and dust particles. There's a special thing secreted from the trachea and the nose, which is known as mucus. This is known as snot, and this is also known to trap and kill germs. This is the reason we sometimes sneeze. So now, <coughs> sorry. So now, before I talk, I'd like to introduce you to the trachea. The trachea has is a long tube which has a mini closing known as the pharynx. The pharynx, what it does is, when you're eating, this prevents any food from going to the lungs. And when you breathe, it opens so you can breathe. It also opens when you need to talk. But now, once the wrong, once the trachea has went down near the lungs, they split into two small tubes known as bronchi. Bronchi are similar to the trachea, just like half the width, and they don't have that much of a mucous membrane because the because the air's already been filtered and all bacteria have mostly been destroyed anyway. Now <coughs> they're small in the lungs when we arrive at the lung, they're even smaller tubes known as bronchioles. Bronchioles sound similar to bronchi in name, don't they? Well, that's because they do a similar job, carrying oxygen. Now, what happens is that the bronchi go and at the end of the bronchi, it, it's not plain bronchi. They're small microscopic balls known as alveoli. The pulmonary artery from the heart goes into the lung and is split into tiny small tubes known as capillaries. capillaries. These go through the alveoli and this is the exchange point for carbon dioxide and oxygen. The reason we need to breathe like this with alveoli is carbon dioxide is poisonous, oxygen is essential for energy and life. So this is what the alveoli are born for. Now, once we are in the alveoli, what happens is that the oxygen gets stored in the alveoli and then special, you know, very, you know, walls which are very absorbable, yeah. The oxygen goes through into the blood and it oxygenizes the cells which carries the oxygen to the whole body. In the same time, the deoxygenized blood has to give away carbon dioxide through the same absorbable muscle layer. This is how we breathe in and out and filter our lungs and in again. Out and in again. So, this seems the end, but it's not actually. Because the biggest muscle of the body is also used for breathing. This is known as the diaphragm. It seems like all muscles should be built straight, but the diaphragm
diaphragm is a curvy shape. So when you breathe, the diaphragm contracts, pulling its own weight down, letting the lungs, giving the lungs space to expand. This is why the chest goes out and in. Otherwise, there will be no use for the diaphragm and it will be harder to breathe. Then, when you need to exhale, after all the filtering has been done, the diaphragm relaxes and slowly comes up. In the same way, it minimises the space for the lungs, which in turn have to take all the air out, up the bronchioles, up the bronchi, up the trachea, out of the nose and out of the body. So, this is how we usually breathe. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please ask us. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching and if you have any questions then please ask them because next time we will answer them in another video.